I've said it repeatedly in this channel that we have to start expanding our savings by contributing towards the economic development of Africa. We all know our governments have failed us. We have to stop pointing fingers at them and do something to help our people. That is why we decided to invest in agriculture to provide healthy organic food and employment for the youth. In this video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of our poultry farm construction project. I'll give you a walkthrough of the different sectors of our company, show you a 3D design of the project, and finally give you a breakdown of the total cost of the entire project. The other day, I watched a video of a brother that left the UK and went to Zimbabwe to start his own poultry farming venture. After a couple of years in Zimbabwe, he realized that poultry farming is not cheap. So he decided to go back to the UK to raise more capital. In his video caption, he mentioned that he failed. Brother, I don't think you failed. Like the great Nelson Mandela said, I never fail. I either win or I learn. The fact that he is not giving up, he's just going back to the UK to raise more capital, come back, recoup, and then restart the whole process means that he has found the seed of gold in agriculture. That is the reason why he didn't give up. He is basically just going back to the UK to raise some more capital and then recoup, come back and reap the hidden gem in poultry farming. However, I wish this brother had watched this particular video to actually understand what it takes to, to start a profitable poultry farming venture. The bottom line is it's not cheap. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but just to prepare you for what's coming as you embark in your poultry farming venture. If you plan well and you follow the right steps, I promise you're going to succeed in poultry farming. I would like to start by showing you the current state of construction in the different sectors in the farm. To the left hand side of the building of the entrance, you're going to find our office. This is our farm office. Um, so we're going to go through the office um and you're going to see how our entire office is set up this is where we issue receipts when people come to buy uh day old chicks uh, moving on we're going to move on into the into our hatchery this is our hatchery building next to the hatchery you have the uh, storage and the boiler house and again work is still ongoing that's why you see most of the places they're going to have a landscaper the landscaper will come and do some landscaping work uh, but um, that 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 was our hatchery let's now move on to the next i'm going to show you the storage the um, chicken processing center the uh, as well as the the brooding houses you have we have two different brooding house uh, to the right hand side is the storage and right behind the storage is a little area where we actually possess our chicken and now let's look at the poultry house this is the main poultry house 5000 capacity uh, and you can see the roofing we pay close attention to the roofing aeration is very very important we want to make sure that um, there's enough air coming in from the top we don't want a situation where there's too much gas inside the room and also you definitely want a restroom because you want the employees you don't want people or even the workers the contractors the workers that are coming for construction you don't want them to just go everywhere and pee and defecate and no you don't want none of that this is just the broiler chicken farm you want to separate your broiler farm from the layer farm you always want to separate that you do not want to mix both of them it's very very important so this is basically our uh, Ota Farms Academy. At the bottom right there, we're going to have a little farm restaurant. You have the classrooms at the top. What you're looking at at the top, those are the classrooms. At the bottom, it, it's temp this is our temporary feed meal at the bottom. At the bottom is going to be a temporary feed meal. Now we have the new section, which is, um, it's again, construction is still ongoing. Um, this is the layer house. Um, as you can see, it's actually built for barricades. Water stand is still under construction. You see the ladder. They still have to build a staircase that will take you all the way to the top. I think that's the tall, uh, that's the tallest structure in the in the farm as of right now. At the end of the layer poultry house, we are actually going to construct a little um, uh, feed co conversion center where we're going to convert all the remains from the birds into the fish farm. Before we jump into the cost breakdown of what you just seen, I would like for us to talk about one production site and type of housing. You want to make sure that the location is isolated from where people are living. You want to make sure it's isolated from the community. 
The poultry farm is supposed to be isolated to prevent diseases. And when you're starting, it's very important that you don't have frequent farm visits because that is how you bring diseases into the farm. Make sure that your poultry farm is completely isolated from the community. Also, make sure your poultry farm is not too far from the feed mill, especially if you do not have a feed mill in the farm. Make sure that you are close to a particular feed mill to be able to transport your feed directly from the feed mill to your own poultry farm. If you're interested in our formula, just let me know in comments below and I'll send you the link to download our formula. Also, if you can secure a production site that is close to a water source, that would be very helpful for you, but it's not a deal breaker for for us, we didn't have a water source close to our production site. That's why it costs us more money, as you're going to see shortly, to build a borehole system. There are basically two types of poultry house. You have the closed side and the open side. Closed sided is mostly used in cold weather, like in the west where they have winter. That's, where they mo that's why they mostly use the closed sided. Closed sided is advantageous in the sense that you are able to control the temperature inside but it's generally more expensive to build a close-sided poultry house. You need to spend a lot more to buy stuff like industrial fan to provide aeration, as opposed to open-sided where aeration, you have natural aeration coming in. Open-sided is mostly used in Africa because Africa is blessed with the best climate. And that's why in this particular video, we'll focus mostly on open-sided. That is what we implemented in our farm and that's what we're gonna show you in the cost breakdown coming up. I would strongly recommend everyone downloading this particular software called SketchUp. Um, SketchUp has multiple versions. I would recommend downloading the 2017 version. That's version 17 of SketchUp. It's absolutely free. As you can see from this particular design, we have a total of three poultry houses that we're supposed to be constructing. Three broiler poultry houses. Each of them will be a 5,000 capacity broiler house. And right now we have just one, but our but our team is fully aware of the vision of where we are trying to get to. We have two more to go. We have to build two more port um, broiler poultry houses. We have this area right here that we use for storage, farm storage, where we store a lot of um, stuff like drinkers, uh, extra drinkers, extra feeders, and, and stuff like that. So I would generally recommend using this software to design your own farm before actually starting. Make sure that you come up with a 3D design so that you can share this. I normally come up with this design. I share it with my entire team. So the team is aware of the vision and the contractors are aware of what they're supposed to be doing. When we first started, we had this particular building. Uh, we bought the land and it came with a little um, empty, it's like an op open-sided bungalow that we decided to convert it into a brooder section. So this is currently our brooding house and we have a, a restroom for the farm employees to take their shower so when designing your farm there are a couple of things that i would really like for everyone to pay attention to one of the things is to make sure you have a perimeter fence around the property to keep to keep away animals and unwelcome and unwelcome guests you don't want animals to freely just intrude into the poultry farm if you are interested in this in this particular farm design as well as the downloaded version of this of this software please comment below and I'll send you the link to download the, the, the design. Make sure you pay close attention to the poultry house orientation. Narrow sites like this should face the east or west, while the wider sites like this should face north or south. This is to prevent direct sun rays from going directly into the poultry house. Our poultry houses are 32 meters long by 10 meters wide. The width of the house should definitely not be more than 12 meters. We generally recommend 10 meters for the width. Also, the recommended height should be 3.5 meters high. Ours was 4 meters just to allow a lot more aeration. We generally recommend 3.5 meters high and definitely should not be less than 2.5 meters high. So your height should definitely be not be less than 2.5 meters high. And uh, we, but, but the general recommendation is 3.5 meters. Also, your roof must be constructed to allow aerations. As you can see, the roof, the orientation of the roof allows air to be able to flow in and out. So you want to make sure that your roof is constructed in this particular manner to allow aeration. One other thing, even though not shown in this particular 3D design, is a foot bath. Each entrance to the poultry house must have a foot bath. And finally, make sure that you use good and durable materials to to control to construct your poultry house 
you want to use things like galvanized wire for the poultry house construction galvanized wires will prevent rusting in the long run so this is basically our broiler farm design and we create a new design for every sector in the farm the next design i would like to show you guys is our fit meal slash farm office so right here we use the same software again to design this particular feed meal so once you get into the farm this is the main entrance into the farm and in the last in the previous video this building right here is the hatchery so right before the hatchery and the hatchery is completely separated with a fence from the farm restaurant and the feed meal so the hatchery is completely separated from the uh from this particular building so on the once you get into the farm on the left hand side you're going to have this particular restaurant this is going to be a farm restaurant for people coming into the farm for either to, to conduct business or somebody that's living in the city living the noise in the city just to come to the farm to actually enjoy some good organic chicken we roast those chicken in here and we serve them with some good cold drinks right here at our farm restaurant and right in right next to the farm restaurant we have a, a store a farm store a lot of the products that we buy from china like the feed the drinkers and the feeders we sell them right here in our store as well as uh feed so we package we also process feed we package them and we also sell them in, in 15 kg 10 kg 5 kg we package them in those bags and then we sell them if you want by 50 kg we, we have 50 kg bags 100 kg bags we package all those feed and we also sell them right here in this particular farm store going this way is basically the staircase going upstairs and once you get upstairs to the right it's going to be my office and it's been constructed um i i have we have new videos we have new videos coming of um that i'm going to show you of this particular building and then to the left is our is is the bookkeeper's office so the left is going to be separated into two so the first section of this is the bookkeeper's office and after the bookkeeper's office then you're going to have the farm managers the general manager's office so you're going to have a bookkeeper's office at the front and the general manager office at the back again if you're interested in all this design please let me know in comments below and i'll share them with you it's a dot skp file so i just share those files with you all you need to do is just download the software it's called sketchup download the sketchup software you can use it to modify and make changes as you want so what you just saw is our farm design now the moment you all have been waiting for how much did it cost us to construct all these structures every single thing that we've shown you what was the cost breakdown that's exactly what i'm about to show you the total cost and again as i said i am not trying to scare you and none of this was done the very first day what we did is we created the very first section we started generating some revenue and then we reinvested all the profits all the proceeds that were coming in we reinvested all those proceeds to be able to build the other sections like the uh, like the new building as well as the the new layer section so now let me sh now let me give you a cost breakdown of everything so the first part was the hatchery that was the very first building that we constructed it was basically the hatchery for this particular cost breakdown we are using the conversion of one us dollar being equals to 600 francs cfa so basically our thirty thousand capacity hatchery cost us a total of fifteen thousand five hundred and forty dollars i'm not going to go into the breakdown of every single thing feel free to pause the video to take a look at the breakdown of everything so the total cost of material was eleven thousand seven hundred and forty three dollars and fifty cent total cost for labor was three thousand seven hundred and ninety six dollars and eighty nine cents while the total cost to construct our hatchery cost us fifteen thousand five hundred and forty dollars and thirty nine cents that is the total cost to construct the hatchery now for the layer poultry house fencing and again this is just the fence every single poultry farm section has a fence has a perimeter fence surrounding it and again that is to prevent animals from coming to the farm because generally animals will bring disease so for the fence um the total cost for material was five thousand six hundred and sixty two dollars and seventy one cent total cost of labor was one thousand six hundred and sixty dollars and seventy four cent 
and finally the gross total the total cost to construct the fence around the layer section and again we are talking about just the layer section not the broiler section because remember we have a layer section we have a broiler section we have hatchery we have feed meal we have the uh, farm restaurant we have all those other sections in the farm so this is just for the layer section for the layer section the total cost was seven thousand three hundred and twenty three dollars and forty four cents again you can always pause the video to look to see to check out the breakdown the next were the farmhouse elevation and this is just the elevation this is this does not include the roofing just the elevation now somebody will look at it and say what why did it cost that much just for the walls right the reason being that the the layer poultry house the flooring is different the layer poultry house comes with trenches and those trenches follow specific standards and that is why the the cost to construct the body cage layer poultry house is different and it's generally more expensive the total cost of material was ten thousand six hundred and fifty eight dollars and eighty three cent total cost for labor for the body cage six thousand capacity layer poultry farmhouse was two thousand one hundred and eighty six dollars and seventy seven cent and the general cost for the whole project for just elevation again we are just talking about just the elevation was twelve thousand eight hundred and forty five dollars and sixty cent the roofing of the poultry house uh the again this is just that particular six thousand capacity body cage poultry house the roofing total cost for material was five thousand two hundred and eighty dollars two hundred and eighty eight dollars and thirty three cents the total cost for labor nine hundred and sixteen dollars and sixty seven cents why the total cost to uh, to roof that particular layer poultry house was six thousand two hundred and five dollars now the brooding house we have a two thousand capacity three weeks brooding so for the boiler section the boiler brooding house the total cost for material was two thousand five hundred and thirty three cents five hundred and thirty three dollars and thirty three cents the total cost of labor was three hundred and thirty three dollars and thirty three cents why the general cost for the building house was two thousand eight hundred and sixty six dollars and sixty seven cents the next was our five thousand capacity boiler house again the way we did this this was one of this was the second project in the farm so basically i didn't even request and this was an error and when you start you always start with error so i never requested a breakdown um but as you can see with subsequent projects we definitely went and got a breakdown of everything with the first broiler house we had a lump sum for the floors and the walls of thirteen thousand three hundred and thirty three dollars and thirty three cents the roofing of a poultry house is different from the roofing of a residential house you need to make sure that the top has aeration as I, as you saw in the video we have aeration at the top and the roofing standard is absolutely different so the total cost for roofing was nine thousand one hundred sixty six dollars and sixty seven cents grand total for the for the broiler for the five thousand capacity broiler house was twenty two thousand five hundred dollars us dollars and now the Ota farms academy and that particular building the cost for material was thirteen thousand nine hundred and fifteen dollars and sixty seven cents the total cost for labor was four thousand six hundred and ten dollars and the total cost so far because we are not yet done we are done with construction but we are not yet done with finishing because they still have to ties everywhere um like the offices and all and all that they still have to paint right so the total cost so far is eighteen thousand five hundred and twenty five dollars and sixty seven cents electrical installation to be able to bring electricity into the farm we actually hired a, a technician and the total cost of material plus installation was two thousand one hundred and eighty three dollars to be able to bring electricity into the farm and this does not include the cost for generator that i bought from china that you saw in the in the previous video so this does not include the cost for generator i'm going to do a separate video for cost of materials that i purchased from china i think you saw a glimpse of it in the previous video miscellaneous costs were things like roads the roads were horrible i had to bring a big bulldozer to fix the road and also 
live she was on the road also uh, we spent some money on May scripts grading the new layer section because it was a total heel we had to grade it and make it to be flat boho system cost us about three million francs CFA which is approximately about five thousand dollars for the boho system so the total for all the miscellaneous expenses that came you can always pause and see uh, and see a breakdown of everything but the total was thirteen thousand nine hundred dollars and that included the borehole system the main scripts the um the opening of the road the road work not they already had an existing road but i had to actually bring a bulldozer to expand it and also make it more motorable so the moment that you have been waiting for how much did it cost to construct the entire farm all right again this particular figure to some people it will look small and to some people it will look scary please do not let this figure scare you because we started small and then when the proceeds came in we reinvested the proceeds back into the farm to get to where we are so this figure was not the initial amount that i saved up to be able to construct the farm so this figure should not scare you it actually cost us total of a hundred and one thousand eight hundred and seven dollars and 85 cents that is approximately 61 million franc cfa that is how much the entire project cost us so there you have it the cost breakdown of our entire construction project if you are interested in any of the materials I know I've covered a lot. If you're interested in the Excel sheet that actually show all this cost breakdown, let me know in comments below and I will send you the link. If you're interested in the farm design software, SketchUp, and also our design so that you can use it as a prototype to start building your own design, let me know in comments below and I will also send you, I will send you the link to go download our design. It's an SKP file. You download it, install the software, and again, don't forget, install a 2017 sketchup software because any version after 2017 is a paid version so you don't want to go with the paid version the, the free version will do it for you there's no reason paying because the paid version is extremely expensive it's extremely expensive it's actually generally recommended for architects so um if you're somebody you're a novice like myself you can use the free version to design your own farm send it to your team send it to your contractors if you're in Cameroon, you're interested in my contractor, let me know also in comments below. I'll send you the information and you can contact my contractors to go ahead and do your own farm. And if you've learned anything in this particular video, again, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button because that will encourage us to cre keep creating content like this. Thank you and see you in the next video.